Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and this is episode... Uh, God, I can't remember. I think it's episode 16. Let's say 16 of my Alpha 7 experimental series. Uh, last episode we took the CV out and warped around the universe and discovered every all of its little gory secrets so and we decided on Oscatoon to be our our destination for mining um, I went around to the let's just take a look at the map here so I went around and to the, in the Astrofeld I ended up finding four asteroids that <laughs> I've marked them all done because I mined them out uh, Iron, Cobalt, Neo, and Zascosium. I actually found a Zascosium asteroid, and, and uh, let's take a look to see what we got here. Um, which one's my smelter? I think this one is. No. Okay, let's go into peace because it's easier just to find it this way. Okay. Um, so you can see I've been smelting a whole bunch of ore, and wow. This, so, so one asteroid produced one, two, three, four, five, almost six full stacks of Zascosium. Oh, actually, you know what? I think it's seven stacks because I think I put some in here. Yeah, I put a stack in there. Did I put a stack in the builder side too? I might have, maybe not. No, I didn't. Okay, so, uh, but what we're really needing now is everything I want to make. So the all the good stuff, well, not really that sort of stuff, although auto miners, I don't have enough cores. I do have seven built, and if I find more cores, I can upgrade them. But the weapons for my vehicles all require some Zascosium alloy. Everything does. All the good, everything. Well, this one. Uh, rocket launcher. Okay, so I don't actually make ammo in this one. I have an ammo one. But anyway, for so rocket turret for HV, I can build those right now. <clears throat> so that's cool. I can do I can do that now. But um, what I really want is my rocket launcher homing for my SV. And I want my pulse laser turrets for the CVs. Again, Zascosium alloy, 15 per, and I need like six of those, so that'd be like, oh my god, 90 Zascosium alloy. One Zascosium alloy requires um, five Zascosium and five Arrestrium. So 90 times five is 450 Zascosium and Arrestrium just to make those six turrets. So you can see how expensive it is to make stuff now. So I really need that Arrestrium. We've got a good supply of Zascosium now and we just got to get that Arrestrium. So we, I want to go fly down to the planet. I made a bunch of ammo for the SV. I also decided to texture and paint just really basic I just quickly and you can see my texturing is mismatched uh, we'll deal with that later I couldn't get in behind some of the blocks I'm gonna have to pop some of the blocks off to texture and paint but I don't really want to do that right now uh, so let's get our stuff I'm gonna need food so let's go into our cooked food we'll just grab a whole stack of cans for right now uh, let's eat a pie make sure I got so I got 3802 bottles on me I filled up the SV and Oscatoon has a breathable uh, atmosphere so we're only going to be using it traveling back and forth between the CV and the planet so I think that'll be plenty of oxygen um, I can put some stuff back let's put my those back there we'll just hang on to that I'll, I'll hang on to the multi boost because I can swap that out with my EVA boost once I get to the planet. Uh, we've got enough weapon, uh, handheld weapon. Um, oh yeah, and I, I 
created a T2 rifle. I think I did that before last... I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyway, so here we go. We've got all the resources we know we need. we got lots of fusion cells because I want to go put some auto mining devices down too. we got lots of food. Made a lot of uh, ammo, so 6,000 rounds of uh, the 15 mil and about 500 more of the standard missiles. Um, so let's go. We got to go up and out to the SV. So I've got my, let me just double check, I've got my EVA boost on. Yes, I do. So let's go. And oh, time to put that on. And then I can just turn it off. Okay. So now we're out. And let's go. Thank you very much. And oh, a horrible paint job. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Whoop. Yeah, let's just get up here. And then we'll turn off my jackpot so that I fall right down and I'm standing straight up. And I jump in here. Power it up. And so right now my O2 is turned off. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at what we got going on here. So we'll turn the O2 on. And we're full on resources, so let's fill this up. So now we've got 1,500, over 1,500 missiles and whatever we've got loaded in the uh, launchers and 6,000 bullets. So. We should be golden. Yeah, there's... Okay, so they got a little bit of ammo in them right now. Okay. Okay. Let's head to Oscar 2. So I also moved the... Oh, this thing's really sluggish now, right now. I don't know why. Huh. I might have to pop another RC in. Oh, well, for now, I'll just live with it. I think I can... I just need to smash the uh, the patrol vessel. So there we go. Here's I'll just do a quick flyby on what the uh, what the CV looks like. Oh, let's turn lights on. Oh, I missed the paint. I did the large. Why didn't it? That's kind of weird. I missed some blocks. Anyway, uh, I don't really care. And oh yeah, I screwed up the paint job. Okay, well whatever. <laughs> let's go. Uh, only saw some plasma drones, shot down a few doing the mining and looted them. Got some power coils. They don't actually, uh, their loot tables, I think you don't get as many power coils as before because, um, I only got power coils off a few of them and it wasn't that many. So usually if you killed like six or seven drones you had added up with like 20 some uh, power coils I think I got 10 so it, it seems to be about half of what it used to be and I'm okay with that the um, the big thing to create the weapons right now is actually the Zascosium alloy which power coils don't really help for um, Although you could probably use power coils in a factory, and that would count towards the Zascosium and the uh, and the restroom. So let's get over a really watery area, so that when we come down um, into the atmosphere, we're not getting popped by POIs. Oh, there's some large land masses on. Did they? Maybe they've uh, modified Oskatoon. I don't remember really, really massive islands. So this could be interesting. Please don't shoot me. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on. And okay, so I don't see any POIs right away. That's good. Let's get down into. Oh, that's, I, I also turned down the. I've turned down a bunch of my settings to try and smooth out the videos for you guys. And it's still. Oh, look at that. It's Ascosium right away. Uh, what we're looking for is a restroom. So let's keep going. 
and it is still a little bit jittery. Wow, they did change this planet by the look of it. The so I turned down the settings, and now the water looks like cartoony, maybe. Well, I don't know, not really cartoony. Well, it's, I don't know, more tropical looking, I guess. So, oh, I see a POI over there with a drone. Looks like just a, oh, there's a drone over here, too. Do I got my... That turned off? Nope. Okay. So let's go check out this guy. What he's guarding. And that looked like the platform over there. Wow. Uh, iron. Let's just. What's my range? 516. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, large minigun. I'm not too worried about him. What I really want to do is find that CV, which, oh, that wasn't the platform, that was just a, another POI. Okay, so I need to find the, the patrol vessel platform. Uh, hopefully the patrol vessel just, oh, so there's a restroom there. Uh, 3,300, that's, that's a good, decent amount, too. Oh, that looks like the drone base over there. Let's build this drone. Or is that the drone base? That might be just a POI. And, whoa, there's another POI. Okay, so lots of POI. Oh, another one over there. But I do not see the platform. I do not see the CV. So let's, let's continue. can always come back to that arrest room. What I really, I, I, I don't really want to be mining with that CV. Whoa, whoa, getting shot at. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. And that's an interesting POI over there. I've never seen that. Oh yeah, that's, oh, okay. That's like a residential con complex with a aggressive POI kind of guarding it over to the side, so... Okay, well, let's, um... Let's keep going. Okay, where are we at on the map here? So... Head back the way we came, there's a... You know what? I think I want to head towards the the uh, trading station because I the last couple times that I've been to planets with with um, patrol vessels on them their platform seems to be really close to the to the trading station so let's just head that let's just try that we'll head towards the uh, trading station let's see if we can reveal the CV patrol vessel and more restroom excellent 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 Prometheum kill this oh, 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 man. kill him I'm not gonna stop and loot uh, his bits aren't worth it anymore to me I just I want this patrol vessel. And that looks like another civilian POI. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Um, okay. Is that a civilian POI? Is that... I... I don't really recognize it. Oh, wait, yeah, that's a civilian POI. That's the... Is it? Oh, okay, that's the trading station. Nice. With what? With drones? Oh, drones protecting the arrest room deposit. A whole bunch of them. Let's switch to night vision, straighten out a bit here, and start killing these guys. They're coming at me. So they need to die. another 
restroom deposit. So, nice, nice, nice. Large plasma drones, though. Oh, and another restroom deposit? Where's that? Wow. Wow. We're gonna... We're gonna do good here. Okay. So, let's... And this one's not even protected. It's still, the, the CV... This seems like the logical place for a CV to patrol over top of all of these restroom deposits, right? Uh, so let's go keep searching around for it. So I like flying along the the uh, the border. Oh, we've got a couple of large, p larger shooty POIs there. Not sure what that is over there. Huh, that's interesting. Is that a village? That's a village with a shooty POI beside it. Okay. Okay. And it's getting hard to see. Ugh, that's hard to see too. It's just the clouds. Once we get out of the clouds, we'll be okay. So, Zascosium. Wow, this place is rich with ore and more POIs. Wow, lots of POIs. Wow. Uh, what is that? That one's a big one. I don't really want to get too close. Oh, there it is. There's the platform. See that? See that? And the CV just spawned on it. It's going to come at me. So what I need to do is get around in behind it where there's no um, POIs. And what the hell's that over there? That looks like the abandoned factory? Or maybe the abandoned mine? Yeah, it's one of those uh, abandoned mine. Whoa! Oh, shoot a POI! Shoot a POI! Shoot a POI! They got some wicked range on this planet! Come on. Jesus! And this guy's coming at me. Okay, so I can see why they marked this as a hard planet. Lots of shooty POIs. Lots of resources, though. Uh, 500. I mean, they're not huge amounts, although the restaurant Jascosium is really decent for the. Okay, so let's get over here. And whoa, what is that? That looks like a warp gate for like a vessel. What the heck? Is that? Oh my god, I gotta go check that out. Let's get over here. And we're getting into light, so good. We can actually see the. Oh, and ooh, I'm getting into the border. I don't want to cross that border. I have a feeling I'm gonna get shot if I do. That is trippy. Let's. Can we. Can we get rid of our night sight yet? Wow. What is that? Does it shoot? It doesn't look like it. Oh, and we got a border. Okay. Oh, crap. It's going to be hard to get in behind that. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Elemental Space Race Mission. Huh! Elemental Space Race Mission! Okay, now I gotta check this out. Let's, let's level off here. We're safe by the look of it. Uh... Let's take a look in our PDA, Elemental Space Race Mission. Take your position, take position in your SV. Important from time to time, big race event is being held, the Elemental Space Race. Pilots from around 
Fly to Oskatoon and enter the Stargate. Important pro tips when you're in the ESR mission. You only have seven minutes. Make sure to fill the SV up with some fuel and ammo. It has fuel per default only for 70% of the race. You might make use of your SV Gatling guns and homing rocket launcher. You might make use. Okay, choose a color SV you want to fly. They are all the same. Press M and set a waypoint for every checkpoint straight at the beginning to get a head navigation, but you have to decide if time isn't more important. Okay. Uh, enhanced laser rifle, Pentaxid, and 10,000 money card. Uh, you know what? Right now, let's 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 concentrate on what we were trying to do here. Let's not get sidetracked too much. I'm just going to fly up and over without leaving the atmosphere. I should be able to get far enough. far enough. Come on. There it is. There's the platform. And what is that right below me? That looks like a shooty a shooty type thing. And okay. Oh man, there's lots of shooty type things. We might have to go after one of these shooty type things first. Oh my god, they're just what? Okay, so where where did the patrol vessel go? I gotta find the patrol vessel. Right? Maybe it's just not appearing because I'm not close enough? Is that a. That's a village though, okay. Oh! Oh! Okay, shooty POI! Shooty, shooty POI! Uh, yeah! Wow! They can almost shoot you straight from out when you enter the atmosphere. Okay, that's brutal. Let's level off. I gotta find that. That. Okay. Crazy. Wow, is that platform ever protected? Uh, I'm not really sure what to do right now. Oh, Jesus. How do I get to that? <laughs> Look at how surrounded it is. I guess I gotta pick off each one at a time to get into it. So let's. What's my orbit? Okay, let's just. Let's just stay, stay here, we'll just fly sideways straight down looking at it, and we're okay, we're okay, okay, so what about, see there's something over there too, that looks like a civilian one, non-shooty, and although that's that is that the planetary vessel what's that or is that a shot is that a crashed vessel let's 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 see get a little closer and oh it's moving it's moving that that's it okay okay I think we've got it in a sweet spot I don't see any other POIs around that can shoot it Shoot me, I should say. So let's let's go after this thing. Let's do it. So I need to go after it somewhere there, I think. I think I want to try right there. Come on. And is that what's that? I'm gonna kill this thing. Oh, it's moving. Homie missiles are so much better for this. Anticipate where it's moving and shoot ahead of that. I want to hit it right, pretty much dead center all the time. Because I want to plug away at, at where I think the core might be. And come on. That uh, homing missiles would be just ideal for for this sort of thing, but again, I can't make them. I can make the missiles, I just can't make the weapons. I 
have the ore. With this guy flying around, it makes it a lot harder to get. So, it's to die. Close enough, I can keep. Come on. Chit, chit, chit. That is a. That needs to die then. There we go. Okay. I don't see other turrets. It has nasty guns on it though. See that? Or are those like antennas? I can't tell. And I don't want to get too distracted here. I want to keep. Keep going here. Even if I just take out like his generator, if he can stop moving, that would be sufficient. But I really want to just kill it outright. Stupid. Let's go back here. Okay. Problem is, I I I don't know where the core is on this thing. I've never. I've never attempted to, to fight one of these, this particular model, so... And I'm not too worried about the loot. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, did I, did I actually destroy it? It said, it said destroyed, and it is now crashing. It's crashing. Okay. That's just a village, and is it red? Does it have a name? It's still red, so that means it's not destroyed. Um, it's lying. That means it's got a core still. So I've only destroyed like the generator or something, I think. I can't really see. self-destructing right now, that's what all those explosion noises are. Okay, let's risk turning the light. Just... And I can't multi-tool it down. That's not me getting shot, that's just... See, I realized that last time, when I, when I took out a, a CV and it was like... Exploding beside me, and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. And yeah, uh, I don't know where the core is, to tell you the truth. Huh. Drop loot everywhere. It's dropping loot. See, and those aren't guns. Those are just antennas. Those things aren't shooting. So I'm wondering... If I should just let this thing die on its own. And... I'd love to be able to multi-tool some of that stuff out though. We're just going to let it self-destruct. We're just going to let it self-destruct because it's not coming after me now. It can't. I killed it, right? Now, I'm not sure if it's going to respawn if the platform still lives. So I think what we need to do is we need to rush to, to the closest arrest room. So let's look for the closest.
close is a restroom. Um, okay, it's looking like right here. That's a pretty good size one, so let's mark that and head over there. Okay, I'm going to switch back to night vision just so I can see when there's POIs in the distance. Okay, so first step of our mission completed enough. I'm satisfied enough with it saying that it's going to despawn because I destroyed it even though I I think I only knocked out like its generator because it it was still had a red name so that usually means that it's uh, that its core is still intact okay and I already took out the the drone here so we shouldn't have to worry about anything besides critters at this point so let's level off find a good place to park it's gonna have to be maybe I'll just try and level off here Lots of spiders, that's scary. So when I pop out, I'm gonna have to close the hatch because I don't want them climbing over me. <laughs> okay, so let's jump out. We'll open the hatch really quick and then spawn our drone. Or try, come on. Okay, just a quick jump, spawn the drone, and then we close the hatch with the drone. There we go. Now, and then I hit tab to get my radar back. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get our drill, and I'm going to switch to regular non night sight so that we can see all the ore. Okay. This is really exciting. This is this is like oh come on really come on hurry. This will get me what I need to build some really good weapons and good vehicles, and all I'll need at this point is magnesium for the for the real high end. Ammo. I think artillery turrets. Yeah, oh, there's the first nugget. And nice. Nice. Wow, look at that. So we ended up with about 300 just there. And then there's another chunker right here. On top of the end. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're getting lots here. So this will allow us to make a, a, a decent mining HV. I'm going to spawn in my... Um, okay, which one looks the closest? This one. I'm going to spawn in my heavy drill HV. It's basically a combat tank with, with, uh, <laughs> with laser drills on the front of it. Not quite a full stack. We're gonna need more than this. We're gonna need a, a a few stacks of ore so that I can turn that into about seven or eight stacks of units.
Nice, nice, nice. So I'm thinking two full deposits should be all we need. And then, uh, and then we're gonna flee back to Akua and spawn some stuff. Hopefully I'll have enough resources. I might be able to just spawn everything. Go on the hunt for some magnesium and then, uh, and then really, I mean, maybe I'll come back and do that do that race, that, uh, that warp gate mission there. Does that sound interesting? I've never, I haven't seen that. Also, uh, I really need to start working on the Geek Tech Industries Imperial Galactic server again, get that up to seven. I'm going to be switching over to uh, default multiplayer instead of Invader Defender that we had before, but I'm going to keep all the custom content that I build, built and put that into the multiplayer scenario instead. Um, because the multiplayer scenario right now seems to be a lot more balanced in the way of resources and PvP. The Invader Defender, the problem with that is there can be too many people on one side and then PvP just doesn't exist at all. Uh, whereas multiplayer, uh, unless you're in a faction, you can shoot anyone in a PvP zone. And even in faction, you can still shoot people friendly. There's still friendly fire, but um, at least your, your weapons won't automatically shoot at each other when you're in a faction. So. get this deposit done and we'll see how much well we should get 2500 up right because that's what it said so we'll see we'll see if that's ore or ingot worth but i'm thinking it might be i think it's ore worth yeah because look at that we've already got two and a half almost two and a half stacks so we go Couple more deposits, or little chunks, whatever you call them. I like little meteorites. Kind of weird, but Zascosium seems to be a little easier to get than Arrestrium, so I think I need to get as much Arrestrium while I'm here as possible. And that might be it. Did I just knock this right out? I think I just completely depleted this this uh, this one. Ooh, can't see. Turn the light on. Yeah, good paint job. Good paint job, Z look. Uh, yeah, there's no longer a deposit marking. So let's see, what did we get? We got, yeah, just over 2,500 ore. You know, 2,650, 2,670 ore, uh, which relate, which translates into double that. So that'll be uh, 5,200, 5,300. 5,300 ingots, not quite enough. Not quite enough, so let's uh, move on to the next one. Uh, and really, I mean, this is probably a really good spot to... God, those spiders are creepy. Let's go back into night vision. And we'll take a look where we gotta go. Uh, over there. Ooh, 3300, that's a really good one. So let's be careful and head over there. And just be careful of POIs on the way. That's all I need 
right now is to get shot down with all this ore on me. That would be just so depressing. It's a POI there, but I think it's a... I'm not sure if it's a shooty one. That looks like a village. close to it and now that the land the mountains are so much higher they're into the cloud oh yeah so I can get to it no problem there's a it's sunken down and there's no real POIs close to it okay excellent so we'll just just land in this little crit well or smash into the side of the mountain and then uh, and then we'll land let's see Not bad, actually. Let's try going here then. And we'll, nope, that was not. Let's go back a bit and go like this. And that might be pretty level. What do we? Yeah, that's pretty level. So we'll just go back a little bit more. Okay, guys, I think this is the perfect spot to leave off. Uh, off camera, I'm going to grab this Arrestrium and then head back to Akua. And what I'll do is. Um, I will uh, spin up all the ore into in ingots and I'll show you what I'm going to spawn. So hopefully I have enough to spawn my big death trap. It says it's class 6 but it's not, it's actually class 3. And I can spawn it, I don't know why it shows class 6 there, it's not. Sathium 15, so what, I might have to go on a bit of a Sathium hunt, but I don't think I have that much Sathium. Or Iron, or Neo. But I'll have that much Arrestium Zascosium. So let's look at maybe getting this first. So we'll be able to spawn this in fairly easily. And this is an awesome miner. And then my Easy Fly uh, is a really good. Uh, this might be what I should what I probably should spawn first. It's a little bit better than the one I'm doing right now So I'll probably multi-tool down what I'm flying right now throw it at into this one So let's spin this up and that way uh, I'll just add to it and then and then produce that it'll be a, a better ship for me so that's what I plan on doing and Next episode, I'll, I'll have all those cooked in my, uh, well, not all of them. I'll have the ship ready. I'll have the HV ready to spawn. And we might have to go, um, I might have to on camera go do a whole bunch of Sath. And I might have to go do a whole bunch of Neo Sath and iron mining with the CV. So I, I'll do that too. And then I'll, I'll have, I think I'll have all three vessels cooked up ready to spawn in the factory and then we'll take those out and we'll maybe do some some POI smashing for the last couple episodes uh, just to check out some of the stuff that the new POIs that I haven't seen yet so guys uh, that's the plan until then you guys have an awesome day if you liked this episode like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time